Good morning from Artichoke Music. This is Jack and I wanted to share something with you that somebody brought into the shop for some repairs and some revisions. Um, it's a very interesting instrument. It's called the Oud. Here, here you go. I'll, I'll let you see it. Uh, this is the belly of the instrument. And here you go. You can see the fingerboard quite clearly. You'll notice that there are no frets. Um, this is the first part of the work that I've done. I've, I've added a uh, bone nut right here for the strings to ride over. The other one uh, that was on there was just a temporary nut that somebody had placed along the way. Uh, the instrument itself is, is a bowl back. You can see that it's constructed of different strips of wood. Those are called staves. Uh, and then they come around and are, are glued together at the end and at the top to uh, small blocks, the head block and the tail block, or uh, the upper body block. These staves uh, look like they might be from some sort of a indigenous rosewood or an acacia from, from that area. But you can also the, see the beautiful inlay uh, on this instrument. Uh, if it looks familiar to you, it's because the oud and the lute are cousins. Now, what's really interesting is that uh, the oud um, predates the lute in terms of uh, records of music and being played. As a matter of fact, uh, this instrument has ancestors going all the way back to 3000 BC. There are Egyptian hieroglyphics uh, that show people playing instruments that are very similar to this. Um, but as it evolved, uh, like so many things, like food and culture does, uh, in the Middle East, uh, the, the strings and the tuning became a certain way, and, and they called that the oud. Um, and, and then a little bit later in time, because they, they were playing oud, and we have recorded music from 600 AD. So uh, later, probably the earliest recorded lute music we have, well, most of it is from around 1500 AD. Um, so you, you understand that's a near, near uh, the Renaissance, and that's when the music became popular. And of course, uh, this instrument and the lute are, are sort of the, the grandfather of the modern guitar, which so many of our customers play and enjoy here at Artichoke. Uh, this customer uh, came in, and there were these pieces in the sound hole. Uh, these are actually carved plastic, but in, in days of old, they would have been uh, carved uh, out of bone, uh, sometimes carved out of ivory, but again, these, these are plastic, and you can see each of these was inside, not on the outside, but on the inside of the sound holes on the belly of the lute. They're called roses, uh, as opposed to the rosette, which goes around the sound hole of a guitar. These would be inside um, and, and served a decorative purpose and perhaps a protective purpose of, you know, not wanting to drop things down into the instrument. Uh, the owner of this instrument wanted these removed uh, because they, they buzz and they rattle uh, and uh, he just thought it might be better to have them out. And the owner also wants this to be electrified. So I'm going to use an LR Bags Lyric Classical uh, internal microphone uh, like you would for a classical guitar. And it'll have a sound hole adjustment uh, so it's easy to play and uh, will be able to be plugged in. So that'll be pretty cool. A plugged in oud. Uh, so again, ladies and gentlemen, uh, and children of all ages, this is an oud. Uh, this particular one, if you can see in the sound hole, uh, let me see if I can get to it there, is from Syria. You may be able to see right there on the name tag, but this one is from Syria. Um, and it's played all over the Middle East and, and North Africa and is a wonderful traditional instrument. And it is my joy to share with you today uh, here at Artichoke. And remember, it's called Artichoke because uh, it's all heart. Take care.